Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Brandon Kakuda. Today I'm going to be talking about the best portable device to get for gaming. Let's get to it. Alright, we have here the new Nintendo 3DS. I'm going to I'm going to run through the features real quick. It has three cameras. Photos can be taken in 3D. We have one right here at the top and two in the back for 3D. It is motion sensitive and we have over here the the 3D depth slider. Control the depth of the 3D, which means how much 3D you want. I like the new control stick they have here. It gives you more control of the game. I like that a lot. Um, we have two touch screens here. Um, they are pressure sensitive. I don't really like that, but hey, it's touch screen. Nintendo added three buttons to the bottom. Yeah, and now about the games. All right. Um, I think Nintendo has centered their games for about 12 and under. And it barely has any war games and any sport games. And the few that it has, the graphics are not that good. So I'm just saying for teens on up, I do not know if you would like to get the Nintendo 3DS for the games. But otherwise, it is a pretty good nifty device. I'd only say for Nintendo to open its range of games big time and uh, put some better graphics in this thing. Alright, that's the Nintendo 3DS. And here we have the PS Vita. It's made by Sony. It has a very, very sleek design. I love it, as we expect from Sony. Alright, I'm just going to run through some of the features of the PS Vita. As you can see, it has dual control sticks here. Love that. It gives you so much more control of the gaming than you had with the PSP. It has two cameras, one on the front. One in the back. Two touch screens on this. One on the front. And one on the back. Digging it. It is motion sensitive. You can surf the web on this. You can also play PSP games on your PS Vita. You can either download them from the PSP store. Or download them from your PS3. Now the games for the PS Vita. They range anywhere from 4 years old to adults and up. So the PS Vita has a wide range of games. The only downside right now with the games is that there are only about 20 games. There are not a lot of games for the PS Vita. But the games that it does have are pretty good and the graphics are just as good as the PS3 and Xbox. Sorry Xbox fans, but it's the truth. Now I heard that they're going to be making Call of Duty Four for the PS Vita and Assassin's Creed should be coming out by the time 2012 is up. So I'm hoping by 2013 we'll have a lot more games for this bad boy. Alright, that is the PS Vita. Alrighty, here we have the iPod Touch, fourth generation. Okay, this device is okay for gaming. I mean, the, the controls are not the greatest since they're on the screen. But it's okay. One of the downfalls to this is that when you are gaming, the battery life is extremely terrible. You can only go about two hours straight gaming. And that's about it. Now, there are a ton of games for this iPod. Um, since we have the App Store, the App Store has tons and tons of apps and tons and tons of games. So that's, that's pretty nice. And um, the graphics on this thing are not the greatest. They're not as good as the 3DS and PS Vita, but they're um, they're about the same as the Wii. So that is the iPod Touch fourth generation, right there for you. All right, that was my review for the PS Vita, iPod Touch, and Nintendo 3DS. There are rumors that the Xbox is making an Xbox portable. So when that comes out, I'm going to have to do a review on that if I can get my hands on it. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's my review. So you guys make your uh, own decision of which device you're going to get for portable gaming. Leave a comment, tell me which one you picked. Alright, this is Brandon Kakuda. I'm out.